y'all and welcome back to my channel for another once upon a book club unboxing so this is one that i've done a couple times on my channel now so you guys should be getting pretty familiar with it but it is a subscription box that is fifty dollars a month and you get a new book every month and you get three to five gifts that are tailored to the book and you open them on certain pages throughout the book so the gift will say open on page 100 open on page 50 and so on so it really brings your reading to life and kind of motivates you to read. Um, for those that don't know, one of my New Year's resolutions is to read one book a month and this is helping me meet that goal. So without further ado, we'll get into this month's. Just like always, I will show you what the gifts are um, while they're still packaged and then we will do a spoiler alert and I will show you what the gifts are that we actually got. And so without further ado, this month's book was The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. A lot of you might recognize this author. She was from uh, the New York Times bestselling author of The Sundown Motel, which was, I guess, a pretty um, decent thriller that came out last year. I know on Goodreads, if you ever use that app, um, it's a really good app to track what books you've read and to get book recommendations, but I know they were up for an award last year. I personally have never read any of her books, but um, I have started to read this one and I'm really, really into it. So this month's book is definitely more up my alley. I am someone who likes thriller or mystery books and this is definitely there. It's kind of bringing in true crime with also like paranormal activities. So if that's up your alley, you're gonna enjoy this book. Um, but just like every month, um, it comes with the book and then we also get a pamphlet of some items. Before I show you the items real fast, I did wanna note that this month's book was a hardback book, which is, we haven't got a hardback in a couple months. And this book is retailed for $27. So you definitely, are getting your money's worth in the book or in the box so just something to note but yeah so that's this month's book like i was saying every month you get a pamphlet with a bunch of items so the first thing is you get this little flyer which this is the unsolved mysteries box and then within that box or the book you get a conversation with the author so it has some questions um to get to know the author and what um, inspired the book. You also get discussion questions and you get read along dates. So if you're someone who's totally into book clubs and you don't have one in your area and you kind of want to be involved in something like that, every month on social media, I believe it's Facebook and Instagram, they do like a live where you guys can chat, ask questions, and um, just meet up with other people who are also reading the book. And then lastly, on the back, there's always some sort of activity. Sometimes it will be a recipe. Sometimes like last month, it was like a lunar calendar. This month, we have a true crime crossword puzzle that I assume has stuff from the book. So like it says, across um, the only eligible, or sorry, the only edible murder weapon, best served blind. So I'm assuming that it probably has to do with um, stuff from the book. So that is the pamphlet. Then every month you get a little cardstock that has a quote from the book. This says, you didn't change my life, I did. Simone St. James, the book of cold cases. And then you get a little letter from the author. You get a bookmark every month. This one has that same quote, you didn't change my life, I did. And then you also get a signed um, sticker for your book for the inside cover or wherever you decide to place it. That just happens to be where I always place mine. And one thing I, I love is that they do look like they're actually handwritten and not just like signed one copied a billion times and sent it out. Like they look like they're handwritten. If that's actually the case, I'm not sure, but I don't know. Nice little feature. Moving on. So this month we did get three gifts. Um, like I said, you get three to five gifts. This month we only got three, so I'm hoping that they're going to be exciting gifts or worth the value since we did get less than previous months. But the packaging, like I said, is always awesome in these books. Book boxes as well. They have beautiful, 
beautiful packaging. It's not just like generic. It also has to be tailored to the book. So the first one is open on page 98. It's kind of like a rainy, landscape-y, almost like a window with raindrops. So it's this box. The next gift is page 154. It is some caution tape that says police line, do not cross. That is the third and, or sorry, the second. And the third and final gift says page three, uh, 337. And it is, almost looks like a road or pavement. And it's sealed, it feels kind of squishy. So I'm interested to see what this one is. But yeah, that is the intro to the box. After this clip, I will insert spoiler alert across the screen and I will be showing you what gifts we actually got. So stay tuned. All right, spoiler alert. Reminder, the book was The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James and we got three gifts. So the first gift was on page 98. It came in this box. And this one, we got a little wine set. So it has the air pressure wine opener. Oh, sorry. It's called the air pressure wine opener set. So it's got a foil cutter, an air pressure bottle opener. It has the aerator pour spout and the vacuum wine stopper. So it came in this nice little box. Everything is wrapped. And yeah, this is something I will probably definitely get use out out of we just bought a bottle of wine last night obviously i am now and not expecting since baby's here and i am able to have a glass of wine to unwind at night or with dinner so this is something that we'll get used because we just bought a bottle of wine last night so really cool gift set and i actually didn't have all of these things already so we are probably going to put this to the test tonight the second gift that we got was on page 154. It came in this box here. And this gift was a little um, tray. So it came bubble wrapped, so it came in one piece. The book itself was talking about an ashtray. So there is this little circle thing that looks like cigarettes to make it look like an ashtray. But it is called a bookish ring dish. And it looks like this. It has a little book quote on it. Um, it is from, what book is it from? I can't remember off the top of my head, but I Googled some of the words to look up what book it was from. And it was from a book that she was reading in her jail cell in the book itself, but I can't remember off the top of my head what the name of the book was. But there is that. This is super cute. I'm probably gonna set it on my entertainment center as like a little clip all dish or something like that so cute I love little home decor pieces that I could use in my house and the third and final gift was on page 337 and this one is a red scarf it came with a lifetime magazine cover of the gal in the book and they called her the lady killer so it says lady killer murders on the cover of a life magazine and it is the red scarf that she was known to be wearing in the book. Now, I don't know how much use I will get out of a red scarf. I'm not really a red scarf wearer, but who knows, maybe around the holidays or I have to dress up and I want like a little shawl or something, maybe I will use it. But those are the three gifts that we got in this month's Once Upon a Book Club. Let me know if you get this, what you thought of this box, what you thought of the gifts if you don't get it and you're interested in getting it. Uh, and I will see you next month for another Once Upon a Book Club unboxing and next Friday for a another video. Don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys!